my lovelies, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing marvelous. I hope you guys are excited about Christmas and uh, just the holiday season in general. I hope you guys are being safe. Anyways, as you guys can see here, we have a pick a card. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this very intuitively and I'm going to do it freehand, meaning this is not pre-recorded. Um, well, it's going to be pre-recorded just so that I can upload it, but uh, I'm not going to edit anything or I'm not going to uh, have the cards ready. Okay, so what we're doing here is this is a reading for those of you guys that want to know who's looking at you, who's, who has their eye on you. This could be love. This could be um, anyone, really. It could be, uh, you know, just people that are being nosy. This could be... Um, a love interest this could be this could be anyone okay so we'll get into those energies so for now you guys tune in pick your set as you guys can see here we have set number one set number two set number three and set number four go ahead and tune into those energies I'm going to continue shuffling I am going to continue uh, sh whoops, shuffling and as the cards pop out, that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so you guys choose what set you're interested in. Spirit guides, please give me four cards for each of all four sets here to represent the person or individual that is looking to them. The person that is wanting to know about them what they're wanting to know. Give me insight. Allow me to open up as a vessel of communication. Let it be you who speaks through me. Okay. So we have two, three, four, set number one. One, two, three, four, set number two. One, two, three, four. Set number three. One, two, three, four. Set number four. Okay. All right. Give me one second, you guys. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we pulled all the cards out. Now I'm going to move these back a bit just so we can get into the reading, okay? All right, so we're going to start with set number one. Let's see who has their eyes on you. Okay, we have the strength card. You may be dealing with a Leo. This may be a Leo looking towards you. Whoops. We have the nine of wands here. Okay, it could be fire energy, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius type of energy. We have the king of wands, fire energy for sure. <laughs> Nothing but fire, you guys. Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be a love interest. This could be a person that you're no longer dealing with or that you decided to walk away or pull your energy away from. Uh, they're definitely looking towards you. They are feeling... For some of you guys, this could have been like a physical connection or it could have been physical on their part. Um, but it almost seems like the moment you decided to either walk away or pull your energy away from them, they're thinking about you. They are stressed because they don't know how to come towards you because they feel like you're blocked. For some of you guys, it could be that you block them. Um, so there's definitely like it's almost an energy of a person that completely changed their mind in regards to how they viewed you or how they wanted to deal with you. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could be because you either walked away or you blocked them or you cut communication off. I definitely see that this was a very intense or very passionate type of connection. Um, but it just seems like they weren't really putting a lot of effort. And the moment you decided to pull away or the moment you decided to walk away from this connection was the moment that it kind of sparked their interest for some reason. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, I see them ve being very stressed about 
uh, not knowing how to come towards you. Perhaps they were dealing with a lot of chaotic energy in their life. They felt a lot of responsibilities or like they were pulling, being pulled towards different directions. Nonetheless, I do see them uh, really wanting uh, to make contact or really wanting to basically come back in. Um, now, it could be a male or female. You guys already know uh, in tarot, it, it could be a masculine energy. Nonetheless, there'll be a woman. So it's it could be both male or female. But I feel that this individual... There was something about this connection that made them change their mind the moment they felt you were no longer available to them. Uh, so it's kind of like immature type of energy, like they're wanting what they can have type of energy. Uh, so yeah, that's for set number one. <clears throat> All right, so now for set number two, let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see who's looking at you who's got their eye on you okay so we're starting off with the four of pentacles could be earth energy we have the moon card maybe dealing with the pisces cancer type of energy we have the four of wands and the two of pentacles some of you guys may be dealing with earth energy taurus capricorn virgo others of you may be dealing with the cancer or pisces or fire energy i see fire here as well I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a person that is connected to you. This could be a relative. This could be a person within your family dynamic. I feel that there is some type of jealousy or possessiveness in regards to how they're viewing you. So when I say possessiveness, I feel that they could be almost like obsessed with looking at what you're doing or always talking about you or having like you're literally like they literally have you on their mouth all the time uh, this is a person that could be double dealing meaning they could be relatives they could be friends um, but this person's true nature is to backstab or to criticize others for the lack of their success or happiness in their lives if that makes sense and i feel that you guys already know who this is for those of you guys that chose set number two I feel like you're very aware of this energy. Uh, with the two of pentacles, it's like a person that is very, they could be extremely like secretive. Like they could have, like the, the type of energy that I'm getting is a person that is like extremely judgmental. They judge you about everything, but they deep down on the low have a lot of secrets or they could be very perverse. Uh, this is an energy of a person that doesn't really show their true colors. It's like they suppress their true nature. And one of their natures is to be a backstabber. <laughs> to be a backstabber, to be a, a hater type of energy is what I'm sensing. And I feel you guys are very aware of who this person is. Because uh, I see them like they were around you at a, so a certain point in time in your life. But I feel that the more you grew or the more you've expanded... Or the more you've gone towards your goals, it's like distancing became like between you guys. And it could be because this person has a tendency of talking out of their ass type of energy. Um, I see you guys really booming or I see you like I see success coming towards you guys. So I feel that this person's hate is not coming to an end anytime soon. This is the type of energy that stalks you on social media. This is the type of person that uh, even though you guys are relatives or could be possibly like this could be if you're married or if you're in a relationship, this could be like a family, a person from your partner side. Um, but I feel that this person is like they are just so unhappy that even if you pulled away from them, it's like they're looking you up on social media they're wanting to see what's going on in your life. And it's only because they, you know, lack consistency or lack balance in their lives. Okay. All right, my lovelies. That was set number two. Now let's go to set number three. Let's see who's been looking at you. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That turned very unexpected. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords here with the Eight of Swords. 
I feel that this is a person you may be dealing with in Aries. You may be dealing with air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I feel Scorpio very heavily here. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I feel that they could have cheated on you, could have stepped out of the relationship, could have... This is a person from the past. And I feel that... They were just being deceitful in some shape, way, or form in the connection between you two. And it's like they thought that the grass was greener on the other side. They quickly found out that it wasn't. Uh, and they feel that they currently put themselves in a situation where they're like in a binding. Meaning they feel stuck. They feel like they can't move forward. They feel like their life has gone to shit while you're booming over here. You see this? The Emperor and the uh, Nine of Cups. For some of you guys, this could have been an ex-partner. And if you're now in a relationship, it's like they're definitely wanting to see what's going on between you and the person you're with. The Emperor is all about structure. It's all about success. It's about power. With the Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment, uh, happiness, abundance, being bountiful. So it's almost like the glow up. <laughs> type of energy where you could have been stuck with this person or you could have been dealing with this person for a very long time um, until you pulled your energy. The moment you pulled away, it's like you started focusing on yourself or you started doing you uh, and everything around them started going to shit. And now it's like they're looking at you or they're trying to uh, even ask people around or people that they may know that know you um, about you to try to get some information to try to see what's been going on in your life and everyone that comes in contact with them is letting him letting him or her know um, that you're doing amazing uh, this is a very empowering type of energy with the emperor and the nine of cups I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could have been a situation where you gave this person more than a few tries and they just wouldn't get their shit together. And it's like now they feel stuck. They feel like they pretty much lost the best they've ever had with the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. It's like their happiness. It's like the one person that brought structure that pushed them to even do better was you. And... If you're not in a relationship, this this could just mean that they are hearing or knowing that you're doing you and you're taking it to the next level, business-wise, career-wise, or money-wise. You're doing good. And you're going to start to continue experiencing blessings because, again, the Emperor and the Nine of Cups, this is beautiful energy, you guys. So uh, kudos to you. All righty. <clears throat> Finally, this is set number four. We have here the Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay, for some of you guys, I feel this is a woman that's looking towards you. Um, or you could be the woman, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With the Five of Swords, I feel that there was... There was some type of disagreement, some type of argument, perhaps, uh, that came up in regards to this connection or in regards to this individual that's looking at you. Uh, with the Four of Cups, I feel that they've had more than a few opportunities to either apologize or to address you and come at you the right way, and they've chosen not to. I feel pride is very connected here. For some of you guys, this could be a mother figure. Um, for others of you, it could have been a situation where this could have been a friend. Uh, this could have been someone. I feel like very heavily like you trusted this person. Um, and somehow they let you down. Uh, it could have been that you caught them talking about you behind your back. Or it could have been something they said that later came back around and bit them in the ass. Um... And it's almost like they, I feel like they're playing the part of like playing the victim card. Um, with the Four of Cups, like I said, I feel that there's been plenty of opportunities for them to like, I don't want to say retract because I feel like if 
they said something about you, like they should own that shit, you know? Um, but I get it. A lot of the times, like, you know, we're human and we have good days and we have bad days. And sometimes we talk out of our ass because we're emotional or whatever. And if that's the case, like it's like I said, if they said something that they let her regret, like just own up to that shit. But I feel that they're not. I feel that they feel <clears throat> like there's ego involved here. For some of you guys, this could be like um, a friend that you trusted. This could be like a sibling, someone close to you or that was close to you at some point. I'm almost feeling like... Um, like family, but not family. So for some of you guys, it could have been a friend that you've seen like family, uh, that you guys have known each other for a very long time. Um, and you could have helped them in their growth because with the seven of wands here, if you can see like at the top of the wand, it's almost like there's leaves coming out of it. I feel that you were very like, you've helped them in some way. Um, either towards a better future, towards a better life, uh, perhaps did them favors. And I feel that they just don't, like, pride became so overwhelming or overpowering to them that they feel like you're the one that needs to either bow down or that needs to apologize. But what they're saying here is whether it was your fault or not. So... What I'm sensing in this connection here is that for some of you guys, as an example, um, it could have been a situation where they said something about you or you said something about them. Um, and if you've apologized, then you've owned up to that. But I feel that they're still not wanting to like forgive. And it's because they're very connected to their ego. So what they're saying here is whether you were in the wrong or they were in the wrong if the connection was strong enough, like if you were the one to want to mend fences and they weren't able to meet you halfway, then that's telling you know that from the very beginning, it wasn't a genuine friendship. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, um, because I feel like almost for some of you guys, this could have been like a person you confided in. Kind of like the energy of like a person that you trusted so much that you shared some type of secret or you've shared some of like your deep emotional even insecurities to them uh, and i feel like they kind of abused that or they kind of took advantage of that um but what they're saying here is that this person is not worth your time they're really not and they are definitely very much in your business um i see them like looking at you uh this could be them looking you up on social media even if they have like if you have them blocked or, or they have you blocked I feel that they're petty. They're petty in the sense of like <laughs> creating fake profiles and stuff to be able to look at you. Like they'll find ways to go around certain blockages so they can see what's going on in your life. I hope that makes sense. They don't deserve your energy, sweetheart. <sighs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed these quick readings. If you liked, comment, like, share, let me know. And I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best. Uh, keep looking out for my videos. We have tons of videos coming. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.